Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today we are joined by Brad from Gragio. Hello. And Ben from Northern TCG. Hello. Uh, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? I'm not going to start with you, Ben, because I know we're going to be here and for a while. It's going to be a long conversation. Brag, do you get up too much this week? Just Master Jewel, playing tier. You're on the tier train? Yeah. How are you finding it? I miss Triple P, and I, I'm sure Ben will, will mention as well. But, yeah. And I'm, I'm even playing Ben's version when he was driving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, I could really use Triple P right about now. Yeah. And I think... I think a lot of lists are like just trying to turbo as much as they can into getting triple P on the board because it is so powerful, yeah. especially when you're in so many mirrors. Like, it's so important. Even against rogue matchups and just a bit off, the off turn pop using the shark like that was one of my biggest utilities. I remember playing the playing tier months ago. So not having it here is like, oh, oh, actually I might be in trouble. I'm not used to being in trouble here because I'm like, oh, I've still got a pop. And I'm like, oh, missing that pop mm. is a bit rough. Uh, and yeah, just grinding along. I have been like, more in Pokemon this week. Uh, but And so when I was playing here as well, I'm like, well, there is so much going on. There's a lot. And that's kind of wild. And good. It's like... It, makes me feel a bit better that I'm processing this and then I go back to uh, go back to TCG live and I'm like, oh, this is drag. Yeah, I'm done. And I win. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, grinding for the sushi, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Gun cotton. I believe uh, you're almost there. Yeah, I'm not that far away from it either. It yeah. hasn't taken me long, but I suppose, yeah, I'm in a point at the moment. Um, are you done with your thing? Because I can move on to my thing. Uh, nearly. I actually on that note, do you have to claim to get the rewards yes. before? Yeah, anything? if it's got the little number on it, it means yeah. you haven't claimed those you rewards. You forgot to claim last battle pass. Yeah. <laughs> it, I, I booted up and went, oh, I can start doing tier stuff, and I saw the zero. I'm like, oh no, I never claimed it, did I? We'll go through my stuff, and not how to help my. Oh dear God. I don't know how you do that. I get like one level across. And it's like notifications on my phone. I can't deal with having the number there. So I'm like, clank, oh, clank I have... immediately. No, I'm on Bragg's side where I just, I rack them up. And then the next time I go to play it, when I'm logging in, I'm like, oh, this is here. Claim 45. Like, I'll have a game where I force quit. Where I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm done. <laughs> like, go down. No, I'm not even exiting through the menu. I'm out of here. Fucking. Yep. Oh, so like, I just going that. Setting, control, or delete, task manager, kill. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, that's understandable. Yeah. Oh god, there's so many people that do that if they don't win the die roll because like it comes up and you're like, oh, I'm gonna go first, and then it's just stuck on the loading screen for ages, and it's like, oh, well, connection lost. It's like you coward. When the <laughs> game first came out, if you did that, it didn't count as a loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your streaks continue. I just do it in rage. I, I don't do it for any tactical reason. Yeah. I've never like gone as far as that, but there have been some games where I've um, shame surrendered. So I've like made a oh, horrible misplay yeah, or something like that. <laughs> oh, and I'm just like, oh, I can't, I can't bear the indignity of this. I'm going to leave. <laughs> it's best of one. The moment the slightest thing does not go in my favour, I surrender. Yeah. I'm done. On to the next game. I'm not going to win any points from this game anymore. Goodbye. In the lower things, I don't. Because I know that they're just as likely to make a fuck up as I am. Whereas once yeah. you're in Diamond, it's less likely. Like, um, I've been playing against two elements since like Silver 4. Yeah. Yeah, it was like an immediate impact. Yeah. It's like, people weren't just like, oh, yeah, I might just try and, like, bump up my... Ex well, some people were, but not everybody. But, like, oh, I'll just bump up Exos and, like, make them more anti-tier and all that kind of thing. Everyone's just like, no, give me the fusy women. <laughs> I've yet to play against Exos. <laughs> yeah. I've played a few. Actually, maybe I should do it. No, I just can't, bro. I've got to you. Like, that's the thing. It's just, I don't know, if you had it... And there's, I mean, also, they might have disenchanted it to... Get them. Gold tier. Yeah. Because it was like, so expensive. It was expensive, but it wasn't like out like out of this realm expensive. Like sacrificing a deck and buying three thousand gems worth of stuff I was able to build. Like, I didn't say I didn't sacrifice that much either. I spent eight thousand and had to scrap like a decent chunk of things. Yeah. Oh cool. Yeah, my pulls were fucking horrible for my eight thousand gems. Yeah, look as much as I'd like to complain about mine, I did pull a Royal Rare Rikalos, so I was like I'll take that. 
Um, I pulled a royal rare Amazonas woman. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Oh, at least it's a full of a normal oh. one, I guess. Oh, wait, no, yeah. it wasn't me. I thought I had um, got a royal rare... Um, the wallaby, the milky wallaby, yeah, but yeah. that was the streamer that I watched. <laughs> ah, yes, I am the streamer. <laughs> One day, actually, yeah, at some point I want to stream, but my, I know my laptop won't cope it. Like sometimes I open up a word document and it just fucking loses its shit. So um, that might be a tax time purchase for me. It's not like living in two thousand twelve. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. That'd just be, pretty be, cool, be careful. Be careful. Dragon roll spellbooks is pretty soon. <laughs> just make sure you're ready to buy that. Anyway, uh, my week. So, yes. Um, Master Duel, Tier Element. Um, I quite like my build at the moment. I'm not running goods. Um, so, like, I've just got some hand traps and stuff in there. Um, I probably could put goods in, but I kind of like the way it is. Um, Heartbeat does similar in that, like, once I send a trap to grave, I then get to add it back to hand. Um, I, I like my build at the moment. It's not the best build. I just like it. Heartbeat. Heartbeat's like mandatory in my day. Yeah. Hundred percent. Best of one. That there was another was mandatory. Yeah, there was another one where it's like, oh, yeah, just another name. I should put it into. Yeah, it's the Book of Moon one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I've got that one in there too. Menonois. Yeah. I'm not playing Menonois. I like Menonois. Yeah. Because when you get to the um, interaction of like they try and summon a beast while I and then attack over your like sprite elf to then make Zeus to then blow up the board. Yeah. It just outs that problem. Cause you're just like, oh, you want to attack? Fleet. Yeah. There's also the problem that I'm playing on mobile. So a lot of the interactions yeah. that you have in that deck just don't work. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Um, when we were watching Tom play, um, that it wouldn't let him change his field spell the way that you normally would change yeah, your field you spell. So he just got massively dunked on because you couldn't yep. pop things the way you wanted to. You are playing with one hand time behind your back, playing mobile for mm -hmm. It's infuriating. Absolutely infuriating. Also the clock running down as well. I had, yeah. I had like 20 seconds where the clock's going down while it's why, while the menu hasn't popped up. I'm like, hey, hold on. I need those 20 seconds. I really do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the other day where I have like 9,500 on board. I had comboed off to clear board and I had like 15 seconds left and I was like, Battle phase, attack, and each declaration was like, okay, it's gonna take four seconds of declaration. Yeah. And I was like, I'm just gonna run out of time. I can't attack with all four of these monsters to, to make it. So I just can't do it. It is the one thing that I've found more so with Tier Element than any other deck I've played on Master Duel is that the timer is painfully short yes. because you have so many things that happen at any one time like not only just the interactions that you're trying to manage when you're actually making plays yeah. but also the opportunities to respond to other stuff yeah. like every time your opponent does something your yeah, Mudora and your Keldo and Grave are like prompt. can we shuffle now? Prompt that's yeah, 10 seconds I, gone yeah, prompt yeah. that's 10 seconds gone prompt and that's 10 seconds gone I mean well Triple P wasn't up I probably could have turned it off because I was nearly out of interactions for no reason I had the yeah. shufflers in the grave so I could have turned it off to try and save a few seconds but you just never know and it's just like if something happens and I have that on auto and it oh. decides oh no this isn't a prompt you oh, care about no you can't do that in mobile you can't change it away from auto yeah it's, it's only auto only and that's auto. what he was talking about before it's you like, can't toggle off or on yeah I thought it was the um this wouldn't let you do the chain no. um that is both. you can't toggle it's off it's both yeah how we're a year and a half into having this game on mobile and you still can't chain block, and you still can't just turn off the ability to chain. And that's wild because I'm a, stupid. A, a fair chunk of the player base would be mobile. Yep. Like, I would like to see the re but just that's just how gaming works. Yep. Like, well, if you give people a more convenient way to play it, that's how they're going to more often play it. But yep. if you're encountering problems like that, people are less likely. I don't especially if they sit in a playing. computer chair and play Master. But that's like, I mean, that's how I do it because I just don't like the mobile app or whatever. But also it's why I take forever to do anything in it because I can only sit there for an amount of time and go, oh, I'm yeah. done with this. Yeah. Like, playing on mobile would be better, but obviously the drawbacks are... And you don't have that problem on Switch, do you? Like you oh, can... Switch has its eyes, so there's a whole other 
bag of I think it's just trying to play it on Switch. I think Switch turn on low like console play only to another player as well. I've heard people do unless if that was for a different Xbox is ridiculously easy. Yeah. 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 So you can do that in like standard competitive play, but once they start doing like duelist cups and stuff, <coughs> they uh, disable that function so that you because can't just be like, I want to grind all the morons on Xbox. The person who won one of the duelist cups. Yeah, the very first like, duelist cup, he like just Xbox. turned off crossplay. No crossplay. So he was just versing the Xbox morons. Dominated. Uh, I mean, how, you mean you were playing Switch more than me the other day? How did it go? It was fine. It was just like the um, and sometimes the buttons confuse me just because it was like the first time I picked it up. So yeah. when I was on ladder and stuff, I would be like, oh, I think that was a misclick. But other than that, it was fine. Like if you're using those controls all the time, it's fine. Maybe I should be a Switch gamer then. But then like, but then my head, I'm like, oh, I've still got a bunch of other games to finish. If I'm over here playing over here. I don't know. Maybe I play it on the Switch. Alright, this is just this is just me now. Like, I'm I'm the problem. Not not Master Jewel. Um, but yeah, back to my week. Um really enjoying Master Jewel. I'm at Diamond One now, so there is a little bit of time where I have to be like, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> is, so it goes plat and diamond or diamond and high? Diamond's highest. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I at thought... plat one, so I'm at the highest. No, sorry, diamond. Diamond one. I'm at diamond one. Okay. I am at diamond one. Okay. <laughs> I'm at like flat three at the moment, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's been a while since I played a tier mirror, which is weird. That is weird. I'm I've just been playing against floodgate decks. Yeah, so there there is like it's majority of everyone playing is playing tier, but then you do get those ones that just swing real heavy back the other way, and they're just like, I'm gonna play every no card that I can find. Yeah. Um, I found sprites is um, really funny. Most times that I've burst them, they'll like drop D shifter in the standby pace. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. They go for um, gigantic sprite, and I'm just like, imperm, your turn's over. I kill your thing, and your shifters meant nothing. <laughs> I haven't been shifted yet. Oh well, wow. <laughs> I've been shifted uh, quite a few times. I've not been shifted. I have been dark lord a lot. Like, dark I'm lord. I'm getting hit with mass change to very frequently yeah in okay the, there was something I considered though um I saw yeah because that's the other thing that's coming into it as well is like the spicy text for the tier mirror Dark Law's a big one yeah um I've seen Chaos Hunter being another big one because you can oh, pitch yeah. your uh, miller to summon it mill some stuff it turns off their shufflers um so I can see I can see it um something that I've been considering playing but just don't know how I'd find the space in my list um, the Nemesis Corridor? Coriander? Did you so, say Coriander? Yeah, yeah, I don't know what it's called. I think it's Nemesis Corridor. corridor. Um, so you banish one of your shufflers, shuffle their shit back, then Corridor back Put to shuffle, get yeah. level 4, turn it into Make a Colossus. Colossus. Yeah. yeah, I could see that being cool. Yeah. Fun play. Something I'm considering. It's yeah, at Colossus. the moment, I'd, like, I would play some of those texts, like I didn't mind the idea of the Chaos Hunter. Um, and like I suppose you have to see those things for them to work the only thing is like I quite like where my deck's sitting at the moment in terms of consistency most of the time I'm getting to the board that I want yeah. um, and I don't want to fuck that up so I'm just leaving it as it is at the moment yeah. and if it becomes more prevalent later on when the ladder resets next month and assuming the deck's still alive um, we'll see how things go there something that I've also been fucking around with is I put evenly matched on my main deck because yep. mm -hmm. I'll get to my rant in a second but uh, how was Locals today? Uh, locals was pretty good on Tuesday um, so oh, what are my matchups a verse salad uh, dumps it in <laughs> <laughs> it was real good um, so he set up uh, Heat Soul with the back row um, I can't remember what the card's called um, the Coda counter trap yep um, a Link Rebo uh, and a bunch of stuff in hand. I yep. was like, cool, all right. Um, so I'm gonna card you your heat soul, so your back row's dead. Um, then I was like, uh, fusion deployment for Albaz. Albaz effect to try and summon with the Linger Evo. He goes, effect Veiler. Okay, cool. Normal summon Luva, effect to search, effect Veiler. Okay, cool. Um, set a card, Allure of Darkness, banish an Albaz on a Luva or whatever. Uh, tactics, look at your hand. Okay, cool, no Ash Blossom. Flip the separate into fusion. <laughs> 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 and then, boo! That would have been funny. It was very funny. 
Uh, what else did I miss? Um, the main one, I guess, is in the fire. And, oh, hang on. What was I missing there? Do you remember what Grayson was playing Tuesday? Because I can't. No. I don't remember. Didn't play against him. But yeah, um, versus Grayson, um, we had one of those, well, I had one of those instances where Brand did bricks, um, and then he had a brick in his, so I got effectively a turn to try and get my resources, and I had enough um, no cards for his no cards that my yes cards could do stuff. Okay, so you drew cross out for his Ash? I did. No. Yes, I drew cross out for Ash, but more than that, I also had the Book of Eclipse for the Effect Veiler on my Luga. <laughs> So there was, there was some tings. There were some tings. Yes. Um, so yeah, got into the finals with Luke, and yeah, the deck just fell apart, as it tends to do whenever I get to the finals. Um, and then I got screwed over by a uh, use not activate effect, because uh, the Baron negated my branded white. I got the branded white back to hand, uh, went to use it again, and he's like, oh, that's use, so you can't do that. I was like, fantastic. Love to see it. <laughs> and I disagree with that. The t because it says negate the activation, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. It was activated. It, so therefore, it should be, you should be able to use it because the activation wasn't negated. Nah, but the activation <laughs> was negated. You still use the card. Honestly, there's so many keywords that only come up every so often, but when they do, they just wildly change how an interaction works. Like Baron on your lightning storm? And then you can lightning storm them again? Yes, yes. Because there was a period where they made everything use, and then yeah. they just stopped doing that and went back to activate because they're like, "Oh, we've put a fuck ton of this negates like in the format." Three years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was right around when they brought out Witch's Strike. Yeah. Yeah. That everything was use. I just yeah, use is such a weird term that they should never use. Like, <laughs> nah, I, I personally <laughs> like the use versus activate. Or it should. Just, I, I but, think use should be on like busted cards. Yeah. So here's the problem with that. Red and white, white is not a busted card. <laughs> Red and white is garbage. It, also it was just out. all I had. Red and white was in the first round of support too, before the structure deck. Yeah, yeah, like ages ago. It's like a very niche combo card, and it's like a way to still make a branded board if your yeah. um, branded fusion gets ashed. So you're only playing it out of like a last resort scenario. So to have it be used is actually so gross. Yep. Yeah. She shouldn't be. Should be player activate. That's the only two words you should use. Should be the defining point between decks Konami intends to be meta and decks Konami intends to just <laughs> be printed on cardboard and people what have in their pack filler. It shouldn't exist. It's... Meta, meta decks should say use. Rogue can say activate. It just feels like first first few packs bullshit. Like select. Oh yeah, the wording on some of those old cards a bit like. It just feels choose. like that. It's just. <laughs> Should we play or activate? Like, yes. what's use? What's use? Anyway. But yeah, yeah um, so yeah, ended up losing the finals. Um, and then uh, both you and Luke pulled uh, Altia Lubas, which I've now secured. So I have my play set of Altia Lubas. Um, <laughs> my second Altia Luber I've pulled. Yeah. Second one I've taken from him. And he hates them. Yep. And he does. He like them. Yeah. Isn't it a funny old world? I don't, I don't hate them. I'm not a huge fan of the Ulti Lubers. Oh, uh, I like I like the um, the depth that the secret has. The Ulti loses it a little bit and it looks a bit muddy. I'm supposed to still I gotta get the Ulti um, cherries. True, yeah. Josh and Hayden have them for me. I just they need do. to remember to actually try and get them off them. Ten yes. bucks. Ten bucks each. Not worth any more. You heard it. Market price I mean, is Hayden heard it. There's no way Josh heard it. He's this. Zero percent <laughs> Someone comment this in the video. Someone comment it in the video, and then he'll see it. Someone link it to a video he's in, and then he'll he'll read it because he goes to every comment section any video he's ever in. True. Very true. Maybe ulti branded and white. Yeah, that'd be a useful ulti. Well, we'll get on, like the rest we'll of get onto that. We'll get onto that. Uh, ben, is it time for the rant? We'll get to my rant in a second. Oh. So, my week in Yu-Gi-Oh, I decided to play Water at Locals. Had a bit of fun. Umi Control. I only bricked once, hmm. which was straight... Oh, no, I bricked twice. But, like, I only hard bricked completely unplayable goodbye once. Hmm. Every other time that I bricked, I could still at least do one thing of the combo. So it wasn't that bad. 
Um, I've been playing a fair bit of Master as well. Been playing Trail Element. What was your record? Uh, uh, locals. Yeah. It was two two. Nice. See, so I like that. Yeah, it wasn't terrible. I went and had a little bit of fun. He did um, the funded thing where he didn't have an extra deck, so they cashed here. I can't do things. Yeah, I didn't play an extra. I was like, eh, fuck it. <laughs> this is not playing extra. Sure. That's so good. At one point, Josh was like, he can make stealth Kraken, and I was like, nope, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was my that was my locals. Uh, and then yeah, I've been playing Trellement and Masterdoll. I have decided that Trellement is the worst deck in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. So I need clarification on this because I asked you about this and you gave almost no clarification. Because I was going to bed when I sent that message. <laughs> I'm going to put this out into the universe and then yeah, fuck off, so I can't explain pretty myself. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I was like sending this message and I'm going to bed. It's just shit. Like the deck is. Especially in its Master Duel form. I think, oh, yeah. I think it should have came in a Master Duel at full power. Mm. I don't think that <laughs> that's a wrong thing to say. I think they should have just put it at full power. They're going to ban it in two months. Like, what's the difference? Every single person is playing 60% of Element, or every single person is playing 100% of Element. At least if you're... At least if both players are playing full power Element there's no luck to its back and forth. Oh, okay. You can kind of expect that you're going to hit cards. It's not a case where you're like, whoop, I've got 11 cards in deck and there's four to relevance. Hopefully my mill three is just going to hit. And it doesn't. Um, it's very much more luck-based and less skill-based than the actual version that we played in the TCG. And I hated the version we played in the TCG. You not did. Famously. And it's not because I didn't like it. Like, no, I didn't like it. But I had the deck. I played the deck. Was not terrible with the deck. Just fucking couldn't stand it. Playing it felt shit. At no point did you have control of your game state. Your game state was completely reliant on milling cards. You can do it with goods. You could do it with goods. But that's putting bricks in your deck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I have just decided that it's the worst deck in the history of the year. And this is not school form. Uh, just, just, where you're being more specific. It's regular form was just shit because it's just a shit deck to play and play against. Um, it's boring. It's just so fucking boring. Like, there's no kind of back and forth skillful interaction. There's back and forth. Um, but I disagree with that. I feel in December when I was starting to pick it up and stuff, there was uh, there was a huge gap between me and you, me and Leah, like that, and then I had to grind out. Like I feel that there's a little bit of a skill gap, like knowing the exact. But a lot of that just comes down to when do I use my shufflers? Do I use my shufflers yeah. to target my opponent's shufflers so that when we both mill five, I can resolve my mills? There's a lot of those kind of interactions in the deck that exist that are just shit. It's, it's not a case of both players have their five cards in hand and it's one... Like, I very much like one-to-one trade-off decks. And the more I play Cash Tira in its one-to-one trade-off form, the more I am enjoying playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Because that is a deck that I genuinely enjoy to play, where both players have their hands. You can go trade-off, 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 and whoever wins, wins. In the sense <laughs> of Tyrellament, it's... We each have five cards. We're each going to mill five cards. Maybe ten. You could mill thirteen if you have a Havness. And whatever flips off the top is whoever wins the game. Um, but in the same regard, the, the, the first seven cards you... Six, whatever. Cards you draw in um, cash yes. are also the same as the mill. Like, there's still an RNG element. But at least they're direct interactions that you can use. I mean, most of the cards T was sending were direct interactions they could use. Yeah, because they're T cards. Yeah. Yeah. They just make graveyard hand. Yeah. They just making a bigger hand. Yes. Exactly. It's complete luck as to how big your hand is. And you so, and so, if you run a pot card in when you're because you're running extra the in thingy here in cash cross being crack. Oh, you're running cross. Let's say cross one cool with. So yeah. you, you dropped desires. Never was playing. I'm playing just the ultra consistent one-to-one trade-off list. I'm not playing the 
Oh, I'm gonna just try and get as many cards as possible to do as much as I can. Did I not ask him two weeks ago if he was playing? No, I asked him if he was playing Pross, but then I thought you were rated desires. I don't think that happened. You asked him about Pross, but I don't no, think he said No, it was because we were talking desires. about the YCS and at the YCS people were playing desires, and I was like, oh, that's I dumb. thought, I thought, oh, that was dumb. Yeah. There's, there's one odds that you play in the deck. It's look. Look, one of my thumbnails contacts completely changes and is probably incorrect. Oh well. Anyway, that's that's the most part of my rant that I can still remember. Um, from my brain here it's also yeah master duels just evolved into hard counter to tier or half mutilated tier and if you're playing a half mutilated tier mirror match that's not fun uh if you're playing against hard counter tier and you win the coin toss you win if you're playing against hard counter tier and you lose the coin toss you lose um it's just not fun it's not fun new year Depends on your perspective, I guess. I'm enjoying it immensely. I also don't want to sit there on my phone for 20 minutes playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. The fact, like, if it was a best of three and I could, I was actually, like, going to sit down and properly try and play out a match, I'd probably enjoy it a lot more. But best of one to Relevant, I think, is even worse. Simply because your entire match is variance on luck. There is no like ability to side deck in to counter your opponent and have that good bit of back and forth that is added in a best two out of three. That's just my, my points of my rant. Yeah, yeah. You, you do have a you do, uh, you have a valid point here. There are points to be made, but I don't think it's like a complete write off for the deck. I don't think it's like no, nobody play it. We'll wait until the ban list and we'll no, get people to can play it. it. Just the moment I get the rewards from um, the ladder. I ain't ever touching that deck ever again. I will just put it to the side and hope that they ban it before we get the next lots of stuff. Which is likely. He's a bird man in his heart. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, that's another interesting thing about um, the Master Duel thing specifically, is that they hit a lot of the natural counter cards to Tier Element. Like, obviously, they've nerfed Tier Element to some degree, but then, like, Barrier Statue and most of Flunder is just torn apart. I was playing against Bird Up, and they summoned the the three-pointy bird that summons from deck, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get Barrier Statue here. And then yeah, I realised, oh, no, I'm not. Oh, I've won. <laughs> cool, thank you. Yeah. Also, yeah, th that timer in that deck as well is fun. The five-minute yeah. timer, like, again... Like last night, something that triggered me off on this rant was I played through triple Zeus and it didn't fucking matter because I just ran out of time. Um, today, I played through six negates on a Herald of Perfection. Just didn't matter because I run out of time. And I was just like, this is just bullshit. Like, my opponent takes my opponent takes a good fucking while to set up his combo. I'd actually, I'd actually be curious as to how much time he had left to actually complete his multi-negates before I ran out of time in my battle phase. Um, it's, it's just not fun. It's just not fun. Should changing phases add a few seconds? I think declaring attacks in the battle phase should add at least 20 seconds. Yeah, because you're doing something. Because you're, yeah, you're actively either ending the game yeah. or you're committing to, my turn has ended at this point, I'm going to do the damage that I have and pass. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're probably not too far away from another Master Duel survey, so you can make some notes and go on a rant in the survey, and hopefully they'll address some problems for you. Hayato El Konami isn't going to listen to you. <laughs> it just sucks, because there's other people that would just stall out the clock and see who quits and gets mad. And so that's we have to be wary of that. But if you're actively playing cards, and you're only taking about 30 seconds tops yeah. to think, you shouldn't be punished. The two seconds that it adds on per action is not long enough. No. No. Maybe five. Especially when they're taking a wave to activate. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Master Jewel, who? I'm like, I get it because there were like those degenerate decks that were like, I have a 10 minute timer. My deck's just gonna combo for 10 minutes and see if you quit. Yeah. But like, even when I was playing FTK, like, the FTK took me two and a half minutes to resolve. Like, not that two and a half minutes, maybe even longer than I would normally take. It did not take very long to resolve that combo. I was like, done. 
Maybe this is the other reason you don't like T. You've played FTK in last school for so long, you're not used to like having to interact with an opponent. Yeah, probably true. I don't want to sit on my phone and be there for 20 minutes you playing wanna, one game. You just want to play solitaire. Yeah, I just want to open boop, it up, boop. be like, that didn't work, quick. And that's what I've devolved to in Terrellment, where I just open my phone, see my hand, see what the first card my opponent plays, quit. Like my opponent sets five back row, and my hand's shit, I'll play one card, if a floodgate flips, quit. I'm not going to sit there and look at it. Not worth my time. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, feel free to let us know uh, your thoughts on what Master Duel is doing at the moment in our general section of our Discord, which you'll find the link for below. Um, but we'll or get video discussion. Some... Yeah. That yeah. weird hanger off tab, which just appeared. Yeah. Well, Did you make that? Just, I didn't. I had Did nothing to do with the Discord. No, nope. Did I make it? No, I don't have. I don't think I have authorization in Discord. They involve me actually practically going to the Discord, but yes. I'm joking. I go to the Discord from time to time. Only when someone tags you. Pretty much, yep. Exclusively. <laughs> I only open it when I'm tagged. And half the time, I'll get tagged, I'll respond, and then because I'm not tagged in the response, just don't respond. Yeah, never see it again. Uh, so, um, as previously mentioned, there has been a big change in Master Duel. Obviously, uh, Two Elements is tearing it up. We have a new Duel Pass. Uh, so, uh, in turn, all, uh, it's 700 to buy. Um, you get your 700 back if you... Um, buy into it uh, but you also get a bunch of the tokens and stuff um, the actual um, assets you get I guess you could call them at level 50 you get Dante uh, Pilgrim of the Burning Abyss, Abyss. Uh, so that's Synchro Dante I believe that's no, Fusion Dante is it Fusion Dante? yeah okay, okay Dante how far this podcast has come oh never mind we won't come back to it <laughs> I, I, can say I was, I was avoiding I was avoiding <laughs> it so hard and then no, it's like no, nah, I'm, I'm a say it um, level 25, you get a uh, red sort of computery looking icon frame. Looks cool. Um, you also, at level 50, get a Arctic radiation monster art background. Um, no one cares about that. Uh, but more importantly, at level 75... Why would they ever produce that? Man. Honestly, don't know. Who in the world was like, you know what? I really like Arctics. Why didn't they just make them cool? I want to join the, the subreddit for Asarctics and just be like, why are any of you here? Let's go to Asarctic Jewelers to say. You just keep posting suggestions for other pages they can join. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, more importantly, at level 75, uh, we obtained a new mate, Gunken Ship Ikura Mate. Said that wrong. Except we're a mouthful of chicken, so we can't cheer. Ooh. How do you pronounce it, Ben? Um, just not that way. If you're taking Japanese, tell me. No, you don't deserve it. Got him. Wow. I put in all this effort just for you to butcher the language that I haven't learned yet. What effort? If you're not going to exhibit it, shut the fuck up. So, uh, what else oh. has changed in Master? There's no Asaki Jules. So this, no. Dame. Dame. Dame, no? But also, uh, <laughs> having changed in Master Duel, we have... Uh, I just want to point out, Frank said, Arctic Duelist doesn't exist. No, of course it doesn't. So you don't uh, need to ask them why they're there. Uh, it's because it's got uh, the oh, OCG Bertie. name. Yeah, slash... Bertie. Uh, there's, there's multiple to choose from. None of them have above 400 members. Understandable. That's and it's so probably impressive and that there's no no because you're assuming that there's like 400 different people in each one. Oh yeah, imagine if they're all just the same, same 400 in the same seven groups. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. And no one's worked out. Wait, why are we all? <laughs> and the most relevant post is uh, screen caps of the, uh, the newest support. of the new support and asking is this good? First answer, no. <laughs> Six comments. What do you mean it's not good? <laughs> but that deck is it's amazing. True. Deck it cheats out a synchro that has like the special summon restriction, as if that's not broken. Also, shout out to the group for idiots. not having for being public and not having ants like admin approval on. Just let people in. Who gives a shit? I, a, I, I don't think they have the right to try and gatekeep anything in the Earth's Arctic community. There's so many shit deck groups that I'm trying to join that we are private. It's like name the boss monster. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse. Uh, anyway, so back to Master Duel. Um, so they've added in the ability to craft some more band cards. So we can do Agapane, LP, 
uh, Ib, Justice Seer, the Synchro 5, uh, Nightmare Goblin, and Nightmare Mermaid. Hmm. I think after they did the World Legacy um, story mode, I think more people were like, hey, why can't we have these? Yeah. I'm impressed that they didn't just give you the deck unlockable that had the banned ones in it. Well, when I was doing the solo mode and, like, you picked the deck, like, the themed deck, I assumed that I would have access to those. Uh, the CPU did. <laughs> you as a player did not. <laughs> it was just so annoying. <laughs> um, but... More importantly, and I'm sure you're excited about it, the Mandolce field has been added, finally. So, we knew about this asset for a long time. This specific field has highlighted my issue with fields in Master Duel. Your opponent gets to see all the good shit, you don't. Yeah. I don't... I, I bought it and I was like, yay! And then I started using it and I was like... Oh, because, oh, yeah, the house is on the... Yeah, yeah the... Uh, the gingerbread house the, is on the opponent's field. The chateau. The chateau. The chateau. Uh, but yeah, it's on the other field, and I'm like, oh, but I haven't played against anyone that uses it yet. And I'm like, what are you people doing? Stop using <laughs> Stop the Stop using gold the ghost field, trick fields. Bucks. What's with the pink walls? Like, I thought those were in our style. They're made out of marzipan. I don't know what they're made of. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird that the, the walls are so weird. And it looks, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I like it. I like it. I like the idea. If you tap the corner, birds fly up. Yeah, I was expecting something like edible, better, actual, like actual birds. Edible. You're expecting something edible. You can, better. Eat, you can eat birds if you want. <laughs> you can eat birds. But in fact, Seb's in the corner of the room eating birds right now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like there's like actual birds. Like, yeah, like two like, little doves. They fly out of the yeah. chapel, like which not is there on the. Like, not, not no, no, anything no. relevant. Two white doves fly out of the chapel, they do rings around the middle of the stadium, and then they fly back. Yes. Doves or pigeons? Doves. They're the same. Um, but we also get a background of Averna Silver that no one cares about. Uh, we get a uh, Easter frame, in case anyone. Like, because this came out after Easter. So, I don't know why they've integrated this now. Why not just save the asset till next year and actually integrate it in time? Remember uh, last week? I don't really like it. Either. So do we. <laughs> uh, you get a Melfi Steering Contest. Uh, so you get Melfi Rabby like, super up close as an icon you can have. It's kind of cute. That'd be cool. Um, you get a Verna Sylph and a Terrellman card sleeve. Um, some other cards I don't care about. Oh, did you guys keep your Verna Sylph cards from the Cracking no, Tears? No, I scrapped most of them. It felt bad though, because I'm like, these will come up one day. I scrapped the ones that you don't play. But you might play them And later. also, the one day is the day that they had the super heavy support. Well, you can play them at all, Jay. Yeah, but, but no. <laughs> I refuse. Um, yeah. See, my muscle's a bit wild at the moment. Um, but moving on to the card game... Sorry, I have so many tabs open. You also have very low battery life. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Do you, do you need a charger? Yeah, it should be fine. Might be an issue when we get to questions, but we'll um, get to that. Um, so, a little while ago, I uh, mentioned that the OCG had hinted to the next structure deck that was coming out being the uh, Red Dragon Arch being support. So, we have the first three new cards that have been announced from I, this. I thought at first that looked like Duel Link's Dragon. I was like, what? Because I had like the red layers coming up into the corner. I mean, it is one of those dragons. Red Dragon Archwind is one of the Synchro Dragons. Yeah. Which Duel, is what? Links Dragon. Yeah, yeah, but that's what that's based off, Dragon. Oh. The Crimson Dragon. But they're not, they weren't in Duel Links. Correct. None of this is in Duel Links. I actually think it is in Duel Links now. Hmm? Uh, no, at one point it was in Duel Links. Why do they call it Duel Links Dragon? Because it's Link, it's a duel, and it's a dragon. I thought it was a number monster. Where am I going with this? Where are you going with this? Moving Doesn't right have a number the fuck on along. A tie? No, because numbers were the Xyz, and that was the Synchro <laughs> Universe. Someone send me a Duel Links Dragon so I can check it out. Anyway, uh, so we get a new Synchro. It calls itself Red Dragon Archfiend, so yet another reason not to play the original. Um, and um, yeah, if it's sent to the graveyard to summon a Dark Synchro specifically, um, it can just blow up all um, attack position monsters your opponent controls. Yeah. Um, it also special summons the original from the extra deck if it's used for, um, oh, if it's sent from the monster zone to the graveyard. Yeah. So you cheat out one yeah. and you get to lock the board, yeah. assuming that you're doing the in-deck strategy. So it's kind of good. 
Uh, they get a new uh, resonator, um, which adds a level four from the deck, um, and then you're locked into dark synchros. Oh dear, whatever will you do? Um, and then it is protection for synchros and red dragon archfiend monsters in grave. It's like phalanx. Okay. So uh, does it activate? No, just goes. Whoop. Okay. Uh, and then uh, a new fiend called Bone Arch Fiend, but it also is called Skull Resonator oh, well, in some art artworks that I've uh, seen. So if it's a resonator, it'll be searchable. Um, although I think Arch Fiends are searchable as well with something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, the, when they released these, they didn't change the name on the card arts when they released them, and I was like, these two cards have the same name. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and yeah, this one is, uh, can special itself from grave by discarding stuff, um, and it can modify levels as well, which makes the synchroing a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, that's just the start of what we have at the moment. Would be cool to see what else is coming. Um, have they got a release date on this little thing? No. It's um, the 12th of... <laughs> I really like how Bone Archman looks. What? The fact that your face is serious means you're absolutely lying. Um, yeah, so I'm looking kind of forward to that. Um, probably more in uh, Bragg's line of things, we have an updated event-only uh, ban list for Speed Duels. I love the event-only ban lists. Uh, yeah, implying that... Oh, okay. In the OCG. Yeah. We will probably get it in a side set. Uh, yeah. No, 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 we'll get the structure there. This one, uh, yeah, because they've already cut one, haven't they? So we're we're, yeah, free, we're we, free we next. get the mid year structure deck. We don't get the end of year structure deck. What structure deck do they cut? They, I mean, well, we so OCG get three a year. We get two a year, and they'll cut one. They've already cut one, haven't they? Yeah, I think so. The one that but we the stuff that? we got in Maze of Memory was a start deck then. Yeah. So and that was last year's start. The end of last yeah. year. Yeah. So we'll get. Which I what? think I think was the um the the Gate Guardian. This is where we do this more stuff. I think that Gate was Guardian is TCG exclusive. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, that's something in Maze of Memory was a side deck. I don't know. Okay. Normally, that's the way it works for us. I can't even think what else is in there. Unless they've delayed whatever we're not getting in a starter deck. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Um, but yeah, so some cards that are going to be uh, changing in speed duels for tournaments that apparently are run somewhere. Um, you've got uh, going to one similar structure to Duel Links. It's like one of one, one of odds, ones. two of the two odds. Um, yeah, so yeah, offerings to the Doom. Good card. Uh, to two, we have Golden Ladybug. Fuck knows why they would need to semi-limit Golden Ladybug oh, of all fucking things. for time. <laughs> Someone's running Stairway to Heaven in fucking yep. Speed Tools. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, volcanic Shell. See? Burn and Heal. They're limiting those. I got Volcanic looped in Master Duel today. Sorry? So, my opponent set up two... So it was Terrelement fucking... Volcanic. It was Terrelement, Volcanic, uh, Aluba, Branded. Oh, Branded as well. What the fuck? But, so all they were doing was making Bony Dragons. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. And then did a loop with, um, the, yeah, with Volcanics. Yeah, shit. And okay. just, eventually, you can't actually activate anything to stop them. Because you just like you get burned a couple times, and then if you don't at that exact point have a negation to stop everything, you're done. Goodbye. Nightmare Wheel also limited. Oh, yeah. You didn't have Nightmare Wheel on my thing. Huh. <laughs> I could swear, yeah, because I was looking at it, I went, oh, that's rough. Because, yeah, that control, that control deck. Oh, it's, mine says it was already on the list. It's, oh. not new, it's not newly on the list. Yeah, yeah, so adding offerings to that just, yeah. Buy the next pack, basically, to get your, your replacement yeah. control cards. Play my new toys. Um, to three, we have the skill I'm just going to attack for Joey Wheeler. Uh, Twisted Personality for Yami. Um, so I'm just going to attack, oh, Yami attack Marek, whenever sorry. you want. Yeah, say so Marek. And also, I'm pretty sure they had a right of Twisted Personality as well, didn't they? Possibly. It doesn't say so here. Uh, Cyber Angel uh, Ben 10, also at three. <laughs> ben 10 just gets fucked over in every version of the game. Uh, Machine Angel Ritual, also limited oh, uh, to three. And then Wall of Disruption. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see many lists still with Wall of Disruption, but I mean, I, I'm not fully across them when I do play as super casual, but I didn't think... Like, that's like Dueling's... We're Mirror Wall. Yeah. 
that card costs so much to maintain. Yep. And <laughs> it's actually Especially really good. with 4K. It's like, you know, play it for one, for one turn. Yeah. yeah, just give us Mirror Wall back. I like Mirror Wall. The original Super Mirror Wall always looks oh, so beautiful. Oh, it looks so nice. It looks so good. It looks so good. Uh, I like the Mirror Force. One well. of the first cards I was like, I'm going to take care of this. Lost immediately. <laughs> See, but if you're not handling and shuffling it, it means it's going to be like on a shelf behind some stuff where it'll stay yeah, in its nice condition. Because like I didn't have sleeves, I was like, I'm going to take care of this card, and then yeah, just never saw it again. Putting the um the skill cards into the the to three like list as well, so like that's interesting because it means yeah. you're going to get two. That means there's a semi limit on the rest. Yeah, if you um, want to run the skill, it means your main deck's going to be. I, I'm just going to attack and just red. I ran and pile was definitely around so now you lose cards from your pile yeah. or you just don't play it because it wasn't that good anyway it was like it was good but what do you mean I thought the battle phase was amazing I mean I like the battle phase not the game are we still recording sir? yeah oh. <laughs> I love these periodic check-ins technology still working yeah. fantastic uh, so, moving on to the uh, proper game, we have some cards that are coming. There's quite a few of these. Uh, so, one of them that was announced for Duelist Nexus is a uh, sort of a sort of retrain of fusion deployment, uh, instead called Fusion Reinforcement. Uh, similar sort of thing, reveal a fusion, but you summon the mentioned material either from your graveyard or your extra deck. Oh, I thought it said all deck. No, it says oh. extra deck. Oh, I thought this was like Prisma. Like, I thought this was a spell card Prisma originally. Oh, from Extra Deck. Yeah. Um, it's uh, negated until the end of your opponent's turn, oh. and it can't attack. Oh, hang on. Yeah, until the end of your opponent's turn, it can't huh. attack and its effects are negated. This is hero support. Yeah. But, uh, according to the card art, it's actually Flame Swordsman support, so. Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Wait, what list Flame Swordsman? As a material. I'm just saying it has um, flame swords. Crimson on the Knight. Oh, it's got Mirage Knight in the background too. That one. That's sick. There you go. Mirage Knight support. I would actually be so keen. I only ever owned the proper fake. Mirage Knight support. <laughs> yeah, I sure love I the artwork the, of that. I only ever owned the fake. Yeah, yeah. I only ever owned the fake. Can Brandon play it? Yeah, Brandon can play it. Just let you summon another Albaz from the bin if you happen to have one in there. It's not amazing for them, to be honest. No, um, it's terrible. Uh, we have a big announcement of cards from the Animation Chronicle as well. Um, the link that I've opened is annoyingly separate, so I'm just going to open them up. Um, so the first one that we get is uh, two more uh, dinosaur monsters. You may or may not be keen for these. Yes. Uh, so one of them is if your opponent controls uh, two face-up monsters, or two or more non-win face-up monsters, um, they can't attack, or can't, can't target that card for attacks. To be honest, this That's terrible. Yeah, this card's kind of shit. If it becomes banished, you can special summon it, and then you add a polymerization from the grave the to your hand. Hmm? Wasn't it to be from the anime? I think it's a Rex Raptor card. No, sorry, hang on. No, I think it mentions it somewhere. Uh, judging by the Rex Raptor. Yeah, Rex you Raptor. say judging by that picture. Yeah, it's a it's a Rex Raptor. <laughs> 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 yeah. Movie right along. Jake's uh, making fun of my speech impediment. You don't have a fucking speech impediment. No. I'm trying to lift him up. There's nothing wrong with you, Ben. Uh. Except your... <laughs> uh, it does also come with a fusion specific to it. So it uses that one I was just talking about, plus one dinosaur dragon monster. Uh, if it's fusion summon, place a field spell from your deck to the graveyard face up in your field zone. Uh, it can attack directly the turn of special summoned, um, and then you can activate its effect to uh, normal summon another dinosaur dragon. No. No. Yeah, it's not great. And look, it's anime support, so... If that was just a fusion that required two dinos, that'd be great. <laughs> Yeah, needing a not. specific one. But also, it says if it's banished, it special summons itself and then it can add a poly. So it kind of fuses itself for free. I'm not going to worry. I was going to try and inquire on whether or not something else worked, but don't worry. It's okay. Uh, it's not worth brain power. <laughs> oh, why is it brought up this? The comment section? No, shut up. Um, I went to press the link for the 
like more. Um, Jake broke his his internet. My internet. You broke your internet. <laughs> anyway, another one we have is uh, the long-awaited fusion that was uh, going to be played but never revealed in the anime, Callous Chaos King of Dark World, or Colorless, I should say. Um, so, uh, needs rainbow and two or more fiend monsters. If it's fusion summoned, uh, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. So you can only fusion summon it on a rainy day when it's just the rain? Yes. I will fuse it with the rainbow outside. And my two fiend monsters. Ah, uh, law confirmed. Leprechauns are fiends. Wait, isn't this yes. just another dark world that we summon with um, King of the Swamp? Yes. King of the Swamp is also a rainbow. <clears throat> King of the Swamp is everybody. Uh, this card's original attack and defense becomes the number of fusion materials used for a summon times a thousand, because it is a question mark, question mark. Uh, and then once per turn, quick effect, target one face off card you control, discard one card, and if you do, your opponent cannot target that card with a card effects this turn. Okay. It's quite good, and considering that um, the fusion spell for Dark World is a quick play, you just let your opponent set up a little bit, and then go, haha, all gone. Okay. Chop. Sure. I'll, I'll pay it. It's good. It's Use good support. Rainbow. I like it. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> uh, we also have some support that is related to Yusei. He gets an alternate art of... I can't remember what that one's called. Junk Warrior. Yeah, Junk Warrior. Uh, some reprints that obviously don't matter to us. Uh, yeah, Junk Warrior 2. There's an apology for them banning Jet Synchro. <laughs> and apparently there's a unprinted Synchro that we're also getting. Combat Wheel. Um, first time will be destroyed uh, by an opponent's card effect. It's not. Uh, once per battle phase, discard a card. It gains attack equal to the total attack of other face-up monsters you currently control. Then it gets a counter. Um, if this card with a counter is destroyed by battle, destroy all monsters you control. Okay. Just sounds like a battle phase, like, that guy, you're dead. Yeah, a little bit. And look, that's kind of the theme of most of these. The um, call colorless is seemingly the best one so far. It's really bad. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. And then these really weird things, it's like, um, they need specific monsters um, uh, on the board. It's like Crystal Skull, Ashoka Pillar, and Cabrera Stone. Destroy all cards on the field. This turn, your opponent will take any effect damage you will take instead. Banish this card from your graveyard. Target those same three monsters in the graveyard. Shuffle them into the deck and then draw three cards. It's a little bit weird. I, I don't was hoping really it would, like, it. you'd take 4,000 damage or something for doing that. Well, one of, I think one of them's like, um, burn yourself for 2,000 and then search a card. Yeah. So I think the idea is like, you do that, your opponent takes the 2,000 that you would have taken and then you get to search. Okay. Um, sure. And then uh, playmaker sort of trash cards. One of them's like banish all monsters you control, draw three cards, and then you're locked into Cyburst for the rest of the turn. That's not that bad if you control one monster. Minimum two. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, not great. Um, they did have one particularly interesting card called Code Hack. Um, yes. Uh, on the board, its effect is kind of shit. Um, oh, hang on, I'm thinking of the wrong one. No, transaction rollback is what I was thinking of. So, um, so um, pays half your life points on board and then targets a normal trap in your opponent's graveyard and copies its effects. But in the graveyard, uh, banish it and pay half. Then target a normal trap in your graveyard, except it's another copy of itself, and then its effect becomes that effect. That seems really shit. In certain decks, I could see it being pretty decent. Like it if you did that, you to target another trap card. Yeah, but if you're doing that in a trap deck, like if you're playing Labyrinth, say, and you have this in your graveyard. Okay, so you're paying, is it say half your life points or 4,000 life points? Half. In every situation you just said, Solemn Judgment is better. I'm not disagreeing, I'm just saying you could do it. Why would you not rather just set Solemn Judgment? Because Solemn is cringe. Right? For a second on the, the the treasures, the crystal skull support. Yep. The pillar. Yep. The original translation of the pillar didn't say once a turn. I got hell hyped because it um, adds a quit spell from deck to hand. Ah, uh, that shit's gonna be once per turn, yeah. yeah. You got two came from the Kanko, you. Yeah, because you could bounce, and if it was a special, then you just summon again. And off you go. But as soon as it's once a turn, I'm like, oh no, pillar. I also Are you liked... sure it never said once a turn, or did you just skip the bit where like they have a mini OCG translations where it's like right up the top? 
Yeah, this is this is on a pretty dodgy Facebook page. Ah, so oh, I, I am not. I'm not going. I'm not things. going. This translation wrong. You're not the remnants of Italian white. Yeah. Damn. It's the second time today you've brought up Italian white. Awesome. Yeah. I'm Did so keen on that. Skip over the fact that I'm just support. I'm for... just having a look at each one of them. I like as well because the card the has. Oh, if this is destroyed by opponent's by opponent's card by battle card effect, yep. uh, you take two thousand. Like <laughs> this won't be seen in the line of day. It would have already been used as link material. But no, not anymore. But it, yeah, but if you do it properly, it does the Uno reverse. So you know. So are we gonna use the segue that I used? 10 minutes ago to get us to the volcanic support or speaking of volcanic support <laughs> there's volcanic support um i don't know well enough what it does i've read over it yeah. before it's just sort of it makes it consistent but doesn't make it, it amazing it exists therefore people can stop complaining <laughs> yeah and let's never speak of volcanics again unless if it's in uh end of time scenario why have they never been volcanic shell because burning for loved ones is funny. Uh, um, but back to Duelist Nexus, uh, we have a new removal spell. Um, it's kind of situational, but I kind of like it. Uh, so its name is uh, Corrupted Gem of Rebellion Snake Eye. Um, so the Catch name it. is sick. Um, you can activate this once per turn, target a face-up monster on the field, place it in its owner's spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell. In the same column? doesn't say so in this translation. Yeah, but because of the... People were talking like this just bounces to the back column. No, you can choose. Yeah, cool. Yeah, right, yeah that's I was going to say, it doesn't say anything about not being able to put it in the same one. It also doesn't say specifically that you can't put it where something already is. Mm. Like, I'm sure there's probably precedent to say that you can't just put it somewhere where something already exists. Um, mainly yeah, you the definitely mechanics have, of the game. It, it, uh, it does <laughs> say unused when we get it. Yeah, more than likely. But if it didn't, imagine being able to remove a monster just and a back row with one your opponent's fell floodgates. With yeah, you've effectively monsters. kaiju their back row. Like, I love the idea of being able to do that. It won't do that. No. Not at all. Um, you can kaiju, then move it to a pendulum zone. So. You're just doubling up, though. You don't need to do that. If you just do the spell and trap thing, you just move the monster there. But it's your opponent's monster, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you have to kaiju them first. No. Why? You won't be able to destroy whatever with that, right? It was a target. Yeah, targets. Yeah, there we go. Give your opponent silent wobby. Put silent yeah, wobby yeah, into their it. pendulum zone. <laughs> pendulum <laughs> player cannot play. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Another card that just fucks over pendulum because you just go. Eh. The the issue is <laughs> it's a spell card, not a trap card. This is a few one of the few cards. If this was a quick play spell card, insane. Yeah. Because oh, yeah, broken. your opponent just normal summons a pendulum because they want to go their pendulum way to get to uh, the pen, the pointy one that you actually need to access that way, and then you just go, ah, oh, that's in your pen zone now. Yeah. Uh, if you move a, a Pokemon, if you move a monster with pen scales to the zone, yeah, I believe it would become a, a pen. Yeah, because it becomes a spell trap card. It becomes a zone. continuous spell. Good point. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, that's weird. Because I mean, it's there as a spell. Imagine the frustration you could cause to a <laughs> pendulum player by putting their pendulum monster in the pendulum zone as a non-pendulum, pendulum, pendulum, pendulum. Be fine. Oh god, I'm I'm actually really keen for that card now, based mm. purely on that interaction. I want to do it so bad. It'd be a great ruling. Let's show show rulings. Um, moving on, we have some more stuff from uh, the Duelist Nexus. Uh, a big beast, uh, which is a little bit shit. Um, adds. Like, you have to normal summon it by tributing a beast. Um, mm -hmm. and then... We can keep reading. Ne 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 yeah, yeah, no, next. No, no. Um, this one's an interesting one. It's a fusion. Uh, needs a monster, a special summon from the extra deck, and a monster in the hand. Um, when it's summoned... Um, oh, actually, no. It's just a, a trigger effect. Um, so target a poly or fusion spell in the graveyard, place it on the bottom of the deck, and then draw one. Um, when another card effect is activated, you can banish a polymerization spell or fusion spell from your graveyard, then target one card in the field, destroy it. So you can't super poly it. It's not a super poly target, Just but it is semi-generic. Yeah. Like, you're, if, if you're playing this card... If it was a super poly target, great card. Fantastic yeah. card. Super poly... They should have oh, printed it and said, monster from the handle field. That's interesting, though. Yeah. So it's a light-themed fusion. Which means that it is a target for uh, the theater. No, the theater of the branded. Okay. 
because when a dark fairy monster leaves the field, you can target a uh, light fiend fusion monster and bring it back. Okay, sure. Just, just. You gonna play that card, Jake? Maybe. Oh, we don't know. God. We don't know what's gonna happen to fucking Brandon moving forward. I just lost a lot of respect when you said maybe. Well, go fuck yourself. Anyway, um, we get um, a synchro that's a little bit sort of shit as well. Um, level seven pyro. Been a long nice time since I've seen pyro support. Um, yeah, no, it's not good. Um, and then <laughs> a uh, rank eight that gains spell counters. Oh. It has max nine though. It gains a lot, but the issue is it gains spell counters for everything your opponent does. Oh, what's it called? Um, Thelematic Kratos. I thought I saw Mathmac. I was like, what? <laughs> the, when I saw it, that's what I thought I saw too. I was like, why is Mathmac getting counters? But no. Um, yeah, so that's all a little bit weird. Um, I feel like you liked this card, Bragg. Um, Ego Morph, uh, the start of the damage step. If your opponent battles an opponent, oh, if your monster battles an opponent's monster, either change the attack monster to defense position. Return the attack monster to the hand or destroy both monsters. Yeah, it's just a Q control card that if it was in speed jewel, maybe it's coming to speed jewels. Maybe. Maybe. Poor uh, rush tools. I don't know if I saw this one before. Um, another um, sort of damage cal card, which is fantastic. Uh, when you take damage from an opponent's attack or by card effect, apply this effect based on the type of damage. If it's battle, special summon one monster from your grabber with attack equal to or lower than the damage you took. And if you do, end the battle phase after the damage step. Um, oh. Effect, inflict twice that much damage to your opponent. Huh. So, it should. Wait, is that a, and that's just a normal trap? Yes. Okay, let's just make it a, make it a hand trap. Like, just do that, yes. for, and just, they and try to burn you in to... time, and you're like, double! <laughs> I think there is a hand trap that does there similar is, to yeah. that. Yeah, um... Oh, there's the one, yeah. Stop the damage. Uh, Runic also get a new uh, level 9 fusion, um, and this one is uh, Sleep Near the Runic Main. Uh, so the artwork is based on Odin's, I think, nine-legged horse. I think you've a number of legs. Yeah. Are you sure they're all legs? <laughs> Not when they're on. Anyway, um, <laughs> so on summon, um, oh, main phase or your opponent's battle phase, uh, target a face of monsters they control, banish it, and this face off card. Uh, and if your opponent adds a card or cards from the deck to the hand, you can special summon a runic token. Token? Why? Oh, hang on. Sorry, I have my I have my law wrong. It's eight legs, so it is even pairs. Uh, and apparently, it's Damn, I thought it was a really hung horse. Unless it's... Mm. No. Um, <laughs> stop. Uh, and it's the child of Loki. Okay. Huh. So it's just some interesting tidbits. Odin support? So... Well, it's... They have confirmed, or are confirming rather, in the next um, law book that they're releasing that um, Generator and Runic are connected. But it's not connected to the, the Odin, Odin, Thor, Loki. The Nordics. <laughs> No. But the only good thing in that was the goats. Like, all the main six suck. The new support's actually really good. I don't know if you remember it. It's shit. It, it's good. Did you lose to it at Locals the other day? It was at Locals the other day? No. I don't like Kranidus. Kranidus. Well. Even more. <laughs> How does it? There's so much random shit at our Locals. Are you kidding? Kranidus should have been a better card. Fuck, that was so shit. The Loki, they were so close. Loki, they Thor, was... and Odin should have been just nuts gods. Yeah, and they were so close. Like, they, yeah, they had a good. Is one of them decent? No, I feel like one of them is decent. Well, one of them was like one of them is they, better than the others. They gave them a prize card as support, and it's still shit. What prize card? Ascension Sky Dragon is support for that deck. Are you sure? Yes. You're gonna make me read this. He's actually though. going to check that um, I'm right. Where do you think the reprint for Ascension Sky Dragon was? It was in the structure deck for the Loki Thoden and Or. Thoden and Or. <laughs> You're really struggling today. Speech impediment. Be careful. We'll, we'll see. This is technically a workplace. Oh, I'm getting workers' comp. <laughs> then I should technically be paid. <laughs> 
Uh, we have a monetization tour coming up eventually. If we ain't clout. Okay. Subscribe to our Patreon. Yeah. Brian just made it. Two no. seconds ago. No. But there is a... We're going to pay for this microphone. We need a new microphone. Okay. But moving on. Uh, we have, without having received it yet, we have the announcement of the next OTS. Um, and it's another one that Ben's not going to be happy about. Yeah, because like, it's fucking ulti brain fusion in there. Yeah, that's the only one we have announced so far, and I'm not even that keen for that. I don't like the artwork of Brain Fusion. I don't like ulti in that. Bad. Okay. <laughs> Where are the good ulties that are generic? Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> what you want, where after I would ulti. prefer where after. Did <laughs> <laughs> you get the little puppy dog getting ulti? That'd be fucking beautiful. Where, where after ulti? would be a gorgeous ulti. Have they done all the hand traps? No. No. Ash Blossom still isn't an ulti. Really? Yes. Yeah, they should just do Ash. They should do all the, the hand traps. <laughs> that's, that's now their reason. They're like, oh, so we can't print it as an ulti, we just can't decide on Art, it's gonna be. Yeah. If they did the ulti in the feet, I would be so angry. <laughs> I'd be so angry. <laughs> I, no. I wonder if it's like a major, like a, everyone needs to sign off on it, and there's just the one guy going, feet, art, feet, art. <laughs> They're like, all right, we move to brand infusion. <laughs> Brag, answer this truthfully. Do yep. you work for Konami? God, I'd hate myself if I already did. <laughs> Brag, if I did. He does, he's just in charge of the pachinko machines, not in charge of the guard game. He's like lobbying to be moved over to fucking Yu Gi Oh! I'll just make ulties of both. And then start, re like, start redoing the I ulties would rather the them one. just print both ulties, both ulti ash arts in the same OTS pack. Ulti? Or the I would other. applaud. I'd hate it so much too, because they'll be like, oh, I see the text Ash Blossom and. Feet! <laughs> 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 The, um, oh, the feet aren't actually worth more, so you can just get two regular arts for the one feet art. <laughs> yeah, you're just gauging the, the feet lover community. They should have just um, the surroundings of the feet are ulti. Ulti of the <laughs> ghost bell altar the second. That, that oh, where she's now. like more prominent with the sickle sight. No, isn't she sight. looking out the window? Ghost bell. Ghost yeah. bell. Oh, ghost bell. I prefer, no, I prefer the original. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like the window like, ghost bell. I hate all, all those altars. I can't stand them. Anyway. I think I'd prefer the Droll one. Not that it's a Ghost uh, Bell, but... No, I don't like that Droll. I like that Droll, just not in gold. It looks yeah, wrong in gold. gold. Shit. Yeah. But the original art's nice. It's a nice art. Hmm. Mm. Like Bell's just a better... Art. It's like an artwork. It's Bell's. not just a random monster. Yeah. Bell's the only one I prefer. Yeah, well... Outside of the... But I like the... Ch no. The more... The, like, the thing about the feet... <laughs> <laughs> it's the cherry blossom. Like, I, can't stand this section. <laughs> I don't like the feet. It's the rest of the aesthetic. Instead of Ash just kind of floating and going, hey. <laughs> Look at my forehead. She's just like sitting, chilling with the, the cherry blossoms. I'm sure there's cherry blossoms prominent with Oh, the, no, yeah, the she's it's there, but like it didn't really pop in either any of the arts. I mean, not that we've seen the ulti either. There's definitely cherry blossoms in both. I know. Yeah, yeah, but look at but look at the fucking um the JJ Abrams fucking flare bullshit. Lens flare. Yeah. Maybe that's the reason why there's no ulti, because they can't decide on what is ulti. Yeah, just the lens flare is the whole <laughs> and everything else that is could normal. Legitimately be it, yeah. But they've done it in the OCG, right? So we'd be able to see what they've done. Yeah, true. Jace just immediately disproved every point that Konami's ever had as to why they can't just let us play. They didn't have the feet ulti though before they printed the ash ulti. Starlight, Starlight, Starlight. Actually, I wonder if they've done a fifth ulti of Ash in the OCG. 25th anniversary Starlight, right? That's not an ulti, though. No, nah, but still, I'd take that. It was 25th oh, anniversary. Oh, you're like saying... Okay, yeah, no, that'd be sick, actually. Transition, segue to our last bit of news. Yes. Mystic Potato's Mystic Potato. Spoilers, it's Mystic Potato. does exactly what you think it's going to do. Um, last bit of news, in that case. Uh, 25th anniversary Starlight's got announced. Thoughts? On how they look. Yeah. Um, yeah, they got sort of shown um, a few of them at the uh, the 250th YCS. That's exactly what I expected. Told you. That's... In fairness, that's a terrible photo. That is a pretty shit photo, but anyway, 
Uh, yeah, so the Aeneans stall out 25th anniversaries. They just stall out race. They're a little different. Well, they've got the... The 25th got, set? Yeah. That's it. I feel like the colour's slightly different as well in the name. They're quite nice. This, this is going to be the point when people that are like, Starlight Rays is the best, go, Starlight Rays are just Platinums. Wow. This is this is going to be the turning point. This is it. Right here, right now, this point in history. Oh, um, speaking of the uh, 25th or the quarter century Rays... They're um, double reprinting the Red Eyes? I don't even notice that. They're double reprinting that Red Eyes art. Anyway... Um, yeah. So, in the uh, tins for this year, which appeared not to be tins, but rather a box. That's fine. They'll save on production costs and increase the price. <laughs> oh, it's a box, not a tin. Well, there it is. It's purely really based on that. Like, the MSRP that looks very much like a box. Oh, no, that's the same, that's the same shape as the, um, the last year. Same that. shape, but like that coloration on a tin yeah. be very we've just, we've just been so used to the gold ones. They used to do colored tins. My brain is shooting in like 50 different directions here. When does the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! reprint single packs? Uh, the uh, very soon. They're like, doing pre-releases like for them, so it's been very, very soon. Month. Yeah. Yeah, like we're soon. I need, I need to buy this. You do? I need to buy uh, a few. Yes. Yeah. Not a lot. Some fair <laughs> Although I will say, when I was looking at Chaotic Factory uh, the, the other day, the, the singles single come out the... in July. Just the box sets coming out next week. Oh. Yeah, the singles until July. Say? Yes, as I've been trying to say for a little while now. Oh, I thought you were, um, you were going to say another thing based on chaotic. No, okay. I've decided I don't want to say that anymore. Um, so, for the quarter century rares that they've confirmed so far for the tin, we have Dark Magician, uh, Exodia the another Forbidden Dark. One. So, I'm assuming it says Exodia the Forbidden One, but I'm assuming it's just the head. Just the head? It's just the head. That's dumb. That yep. should do with the whole thing. Uh, Red Eyes, Black Dragon, another Rainbow head. Dragon, Cyber Dragon. Elemental Hero Neos, Firewall Dragon, mm -hmm. and then for reasons I do not understand and kind of hate, Salamander Great Blaze Dragon. That card really has dumb. never seen play. Yes, like that's really it's dumb. it's Gazelle every day. You can make an argument for some of the other ones. Do not care. It is Gazelle. Uh, Gazelle is the heart and soul of that deck. I'm assuming in the anime. His, the final thing he uses to attack in his final duel is a Blaze Falcon. It's not. What? Anyway. It's Pyro Phoenix. Anyway. Um, huh. Yeah, so no Jizno? No Jizno. No Jizno. No Jizno. No Jizno. No There's so many missed opportunities here. They shouldn't have printed Red Eyes. They should have printed Jizno instead. They didn't need to put Dark Magician like, in here. Red Eyes is a more prominent Joey monster than Jizno. They're already doing it. Like It's the same art is coming out in the, the box set in two weeks. They're already doing it. Yeah. Just print Jizno. It's just so weird that they just go back to the anime instead of going, isn't it? It's, it's 25 years of the game. It's not the anime. The game. The Let's game. celebrate the game. I know that doesn't sell as many tins. But they are selling celebrating the game. The king of games. <laughs> is he really the king of games though? No, he wins is two best. different sort of games, doesn't he? And, and he loses from time to time. I want dungeon dice monsters. Reprint dungeon dice monsters. Oh, what had a um a fold out box? One of the Oh the Mario. The it's the Mario little uh, blisters you can crack and try and get each of them like a zing and A B and stuff. They fold out like the dice do. You know, that I'm like, hold on. Dungeon Dice Mario? Yeah, you can you can set them up to be that yeah, give us Dungeon Dice Monsters. Twenty five years of Dungeon Dice Monsters coming in twenty what, what Not that far off twenty five years of Dungeon yeah. Dice Monsters. <laughs> yeah. Twenty five years of Capital Coliseum. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hatch my fucking po no, hatch my egg. Say Pokemon. No, uh, yeah, I want to save Pokemon. Yeah, you both. Hatch my cockroach for finishing it. Yeah, you all you don't get enough credit for doing the capsules. For beating that game. That was a good run. I still enjoy that game. Yeah. I'd go back and like try and grind out all the fusions, but Ben would 
not want that. No, not doing that. <laughs> not doing that. <laughs> so Super that. interesting. That if anything, I just stream Dungeon Dice Monsters. <laughs> it's so low res though. I remember. Yep. I think it was Loza was streaming it a while ago, and I I couldn't physically look at it. It looked so bad. I have it on Game Boy. I could just play it anytime I want. Anyway, um, uh, hopefully they bring it to Switch Game Boy. Ooh, Switch Game Switch Boy, Game Boy Dungeon Dice Monsters. Hear me, Mr. Nintendo. We need Dungeon Dice Monsters on the Game Mr. Boy. Mr. Christian J. Nintendo. Yeah, I know that <laughs> yes. you. I know that you haven't put the Pokemon games on there for whatever reason. But can you give us Dungeon Dice Monsters? I still get in my YouTube recommended fucking Pokemon YouTubers being like, the Pokemon Game Boy games are coming to Switch. And it's like three months ago. And I'm like, no, it's not. Stadium soon. <laughs> yeah, real soon. We also just have an N64 sitting right there with Pokemon Stadium on it. Which also has a lens flare problem. Yeah, that's fine. It's okay. So, it can't be overexposed, right? Yeah. There's no such thing as too bright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> JJ Abrams watches the podcast. <laughs> Fuck you for ruining Star Wars. The lens flares weren't that prominent in that Star Wars movie. Except when they fired the laser, which makes sense. There's a practical source for it. Star yes. Trek, he fucked in the middle of space. Shaky camera just lens flares them like they're in a cockpit of a spaceship in the middle of nowhere. But there's no ozone to filter the lights. Cinematography aside, we move to our Discord. As I mentioned <laughs> before, link is in the description yeah, below. Two hour rant podcast. <laughs> <laughs> every, every time we've stopped for a subject there's been some rant and I feel like you've instigated most of it yeah pretty much uh, so yeah Hi. I need pink chicken Mo Why I said most you... I said most you get well, credit as long as, as long as my rants are credited <laughs> yes yeah please check down below for the uh, credits of this week's rants <laughs> Uh, yes, there is a link in the description below for our Discord. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first question this week comes to us from Matthew Mack. Uh, what are your ideas for new hand traps? The one that we mentioned earlier, where if you get burned for damage, you discard it, and then it pings your opponent for twice as much. I just want them more like imperm, where they're actual traps. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it would be cool if we had a few more traps that activated for me. I would kind of rate the idea of having spells that are activated off turn like assuming that you had nothing that wasn't good enough already <laughs> let's not do that um like, a quick play like if you had it like that on a specific quick play spell sure but there's my yeah. one that I've always said we need and it's a hand trap that activates a chain link high five or higher and negates everything else on the chain I've mentioned this all the time whenever this comes up that's what should exist you want that as a hand trap who's ringing the phone <laughs> the phone doesn't do anything it could be Logan, forgetting that he was here two days ago and the yeah, lift right. didn't work. Yeah. Welcome to the cowboy apartment where the phone does nothing. The door is open. Just the door is open. The elevator doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. We move. Continue. Continue. Yes. Um, That's the hand trap that should exist. Chain link five or higher. Discard it. Negates everything else in the chain. As a hand trap, I feel like it's... As a hand trap, I feel like it's just not going to come up. The doors open, the elevator doesn't You work. cause your own issue. Interelement would come up all the time. Yeah, and that format's dead. <laughs> Just use your own shuffle up and then negate it. What's the chain link? What, accumulator fortunes just draw heaps, yeah? Yes. I think it's a draw. Yeah, this is super, it's like, it's so super weird they never did that. Yeah, there's also a counter for chain boom. If it ever comes up, you just go, Whoop. I would kind of like the idea of like a Nibiru-esque hand trap, but for the other types of cards. Like if your opponent activated X amount of spells or X amount of traps in a turn, you can discard it and then... How'd turn. you get up here so quickly? Walk. Up the stairs? Yeah. Did you, you, did were you, you ringing the doorbell? No, it's Okay. Don't no. worry then. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I we're, nearly, we're nearly done. Um, so yeah, I'd like the idea of like an Ibiru-esque hand trap that um, interacted with spells. Like if they activated X amount of spells in a turn, they then their turn ends. <laughs> it zone locks all spells. Oh yeah. Some way to get around it. Yeah. Special okay. summon to your opponent's field, block all their spells. Sky Tracker comes back? No. <laughs> Tribute all spells on the field, all spells and traps face up on the field. Uh then oh no, shuffle them in a the deck. Are you designing a new hand trap? Yep. 
Um, I think like just like a removal spell and magic, just like discard to destroy a creature. Like a magic creature. Yeah, that's, that's, like, that's yeah. Ghost Ogre and Snowman. Yeah, that that is <laughs> just Ghost Ogre. But they have to activate, right? Yeah. Typically, yeah, but most things need some on, on off turn. You can't just go. See, so yeah, I don't mind that because that's okay. discarding instead of waiting for resolution, so you can pop a couple. Like that adds something to the game that we just didn't have. Yes. Because like there's like maybe <laughs> they summon out a little tuner that doesn't activate, you can pop it. Yeah. Yes. I rate that yeah. as a trap card, or <laughs> something like trap eater that eats tuners. If a tuner is on the field, summon it. Eat the eat the tuner. That'd be sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuna Token yeah. collector, but tuner collector. Yeah. It should be like some. You could. The, just him with K as a tuner. Yeah, hear me out, Konami. <laughs> you could even make it a pun. Tuna, I hardly know. Oh god. It's like Josh never left. Next question comes to us from Jesse. Uh, if you were to design a pod card, what would you make it say? But here's the caveat. It must be playable in most decks, but not bannable. Uh, his example is at the start of your main phase, uh, main phase two, look at the top three cards of your deck, add one to your hand, send one to graveyard, and put one at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. I like that. Yeah, I don't hate it. Being that it's main phase two, it's uh, obviously only workable within very limited phases of the thing. I like that game. I like, I like the gimmick of one hand, one to, one to grab, one to bottom. That's super cute. I really like that. Make a main phase one. Treat yourself. But you can't do anything else after the the pros thingy. Yes. Um. There was a hand trap that activated a little while ago. Like it's not a good one. It was like if your opponent adds a card to hand, tribute a monster you control, they have to banish their hand. Um, draw the same number of cards they had in their hand from the top of their deck, and then put the cards they banished back into the deck, and shuffle. So it's kind of like reincarnation, but a little bit shit. Um, I kind of want that for a pot card. It's like banish X number of cards from your hand, draw from the top of your deck, and then shuffle those same cards back in. Pot of preparations. Draw two cards. Skip your next battle phase. Sure. Restricted Ruin it, game game on. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you combo it. Yeah. Runic. Yeah, exactly. It already exists in Runic. Isn't that just polygreed? So, Runic can polygreed. just do this already. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, I'll... Then you add that the access to every other deck. Yeah. Hold on. Stop using like five negates. And then just all right, once per turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Give it a once per turn. <laughs> However, I don't think that that's brust. I, I don't give a shit if, if you're playing combo. <laughs> You're only gonna put out so many negates, and your opponent's gonna have two turns worth of counter. Everyone's gonna be brave, but shocked by this comment. He's watching football. Next, next question. Next question is also from Jesse. How do you make your gems more efficient in Master Duel? Don't spend them. <laughs> <laughs> Just true. There's no reason to. Just okay. don't spend them, and then when Trellman Just... comes out, spend all of them. Just buy one FTK deck, play one boring solitaire deck forever, and then never spend anything. Yes, your favorite deck. It's his favorite it's deck. It's his. Keep up. You know what? I'm impressed that Jake never has any gems. <laughs> like, you only also ever play like three decks. No, Master Jewel, he, he, I play he, he fucks around. Stuff. Why? Master Jewel, he's deep. <laughs> Why? Because I like to change things just up so off every so often. Hear me out. Yeah, just don't spend your gems. And then every three months when a good deck comes out, spend your gems. Easy. So yeah, um, not spending money on packs for the sake of spending money on packs is a big one. Um, I spent money pointlessly today just so that I could get stuff to break down. That was it. Yeah, and so there's... I'm sure that there's probably a Reddit thread or sub-thread about this, but there's definitely packs where you get better value. Like, you get shitter ultras... Yeah, but if you're doing it just for the sake of getting the crafting this, this points, this definitely exists. Yeah, because yeah. I have. This is how I started when I started playing Master Duel. Yeah, hundred percent. So um, there's two that I know of. There's the Arm Dragon pack. Yep. It's big on ultras, but they're shit. And the Dark Lord pack. Okay. One of the ultras is Forbidden Droplet. So if you're chasing yeah. those, like they're super common in that pack. And I pulled, I think seven in total. Like they've crafted away now, but yeah. I had seven at a time. 
Um, so that's one big one for me is if you have a bunch of gems, you're not really wanting to like try and pull what you want. You just want to craft it. Go for those big value packs where you're getting shitter ultras, but you're just after the ultras to craft away. Yes. Um, and yeah, just again, just the hoarding everything. Um, I'm sure people do it on Master Duel as well, is that they go it's on... Simple. They go on and they just like spend all their crafting points to rarity bump. Don't do that. No, don't do that. Terrible idea. Yes, don't do that. It's worth the pun. Sure. Unless you're getting commons. Yeah, rarities. like your N's and R's and stuff, you can do it. Um, yeah. Because you've got like thousands of those and like realistically, you can pull those in a pack even if you're not going to craft them. But yeah. it costs you nothing. Um, like you're not that likely to get a royal rare because I'm pretty sure it's a scaling system is like what you're more common to get like if you're doing a lot of ultras you're more likely to get the royal rares in there whereas if you're like just crafting away at the and rarities and R rarities you're not probably going to get a royal but you'll probably get a glossy 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 would be alright but yeah like max rarity it sucks that you can't spend a specific amount to get it like 10 times like, yeah but like for an aesthetic thing I don't know like Konami would make a fuck time because people would just be in there just oh, like yeah. dropping massive dolls I don't to see get a problem with this. I like the way that it is yeah. no like I don't see a problem with that also being in the game yeah. just let that fun yeah give people a, give people the luck or let people because we already had that in the normal game where people yeah. rock up with <laughs> It's more funding for Konami so that they can do things like host more than a 100 person state championships in a, a state <laughs> where you get a thousand players at OCS. Yes. Yep, not in this country. Not in this country. No. 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 We didn't even talk about that, by the way. State, state championships for us has a hard play cap. Yeah. Um, that's. And I understand that in states where maybe they don't have that big a play base, but New South Wales is absolutely the biggest player base. In all of Australia. Yes. So to have a 100-player cap is actually ridiculous. Like, we've had regional recently that have had 130 players. So to have a, a premier level event, have like, a 100-player cap. I also... Like, I already have my invite, so I don't need to go to States. But I would still like to go. And now I'm sitting on a waiting list because I messaged them at night, and then they were like, our automated response team will get to you tomorrow morning. And then I had to message them again 24 hours later to be like, Hey, did you get my message? And they're like, "We're full now, sorry." Like, In fairness, they were full hopeless. super early. So when I first I messaged saw them it, half an hour after they pub after they published it, you messaged them a while after they posted it. No. Yeah, because you did it while we were at KFC. No. Nah. Fuck. <laughs> from a perspective of wanting the, the game, stands. To, wanting the, the people, stands. they didn't read my message until the next day. And wanting the game to grow, wanting people to just have fun and spend money and play card games, it's a stupid decision to put in a 100-person store in Penrith. Yes. And that store has right. run stuff in, like, pl there's plenty of venues nearby that they could go out to. They just don't because whatever staffing issues they have. We keep doing this all the goddamn time, and I, it's getting super frustrating. I don't know why it's being run by a store. Like... It shouldn't be run by a store. Th this should just be a Konami thing. This isn't a fucking regional. Again, if it's I, a regional, I completely get it. Like, cap your regional line of players. Yeah. It's a state championship. It should be in a situation where you can have as many people there as possible. When we were told that Nats was going away at YCS, we were told it would be replaced by state level, like by events in every state that had national level pricing. And that is not right. Like, so the way this was pitched to us was meant to be like, a, oh, it's a bit hard to try and organise the whole Nats, uh, Nats thing. We're just going to bump it back down to states. And now it's just a glorified region. I feel like this is like it's not the even perfect... glorified regions. Yeah. There I feel are like... regions with more players. I feel like this is like the perfect recommendation of like, state versus federal government like the federal government had control of this thing they're like look it's too much for us to do now we're going to hand it over to the states the states get it they fuck it up but they blame federal because they don't have blah 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 blah. like it's not the store's fault like, it's not I, the store's I do, fault i do want to also press it's not the store's fault well the store could have said no sorry we well, can't run an unlimited cap event sorry this is a state thing not a regional thing fuck off this is correct yes they but then again, they're just going to turn around and go to a different fucking store with a smaller player cap and be like, hey, you're running this event. No, this should have been an official Konami thing. This should not have been handed to a store at all. It should have just been handed to a delegation. Like, fucking, I get that Konami Australia is in Brisbane, 
and like they would handle their own thing and have their own staff and not have to ferry people out but like there's a lot of judges and like the highest ranking judge in Australia is in New South Wales find a way to make it work um in in that regard I would really appreciate anyone who's living in a state other than New South Wales to tell me how their states is being run what venues it's at what caps it at um just as a comparison um I can very much see Brisbane just not having a cap but every other state having well, a this cap well this is well this is what I want to see I want to see if this is like an across the board thing mm. if like this is maybe just like a hint hint thing that has been said like yeah. sort of like look it's unlimited, but realistically, you should only have about X amount of people. Um, and it might be a staffing thing as well, because they only want to employ X amount of judges. Um, so they're like, look, realistically, for this number of people... That's the thing. They only employ one judge. Last state, there was one judge. Mm. It was a hundred... It was a hundred twenty person cap, and they're like, there you go. No. <laughs> Last year, it was a hundred. They and just let in an extra a, yeah, 20 people. <laughs> they, have, they have allocations for most states to have two judges. But most of the states only put one judge give them both stuff. Give that one judge stuff for both, is what you mean? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Ah, agreed comes into it. Fantastic. I love that. No, no, don't employ someone else. Just give me double the stuff. No. I'm going to run a shit event because I'm trying to cover 125 fucking people in one room. Jesse, but I want another box. Tell us what Queensland states is like. Yeah, and anyone else... Um, in other states... Yeah, if you're yeah. in a state other than New South Wales or Queensland, um, let us know what's happening with yours. Um, really intrigued just to see what they actually do with that. Um, next question comes to us, I think, from a new listener, Sky Lancers. Hi, um, Sky Lancers. Are there other TCGs you guys are playing in right now or see. plan to in the future? See. Uh, what makes you keep playing Yu Gi Oh as your main card? The other ones are kind of shit. <laughs> um, yeah, as my rent was like last week, we played Pokemon. Um, it's fine. Shit. It's fine. Um, that one's just a bit small brain. Yeah, it's very small brain. Um, most of us play Commander except Jake, but like... Can't stand magic. Regular <laughs> magic? Fuck that. I ain't touching that shit. Um, no. Yeah, I, I kind of defend. There's, there's times like when you're drafting and stuff, like their alternative, like all their alternate formats can kind of get around the magic oh, yeah. bullshit. Regular... Right. Regular... Magic is fucking horrible, but their alternative games are like semi playable. But even then, I only like Commander. <laughs> Once I have four copies of a card in my deck and things get consistent, I'm like, fuck this. And yet, hates Tier Element because it's luck based. Yeah, but uh, so that's Intriguing. the difference though. You can play like 10 games of Commander with a Commander deck, and each game you've just seen 10 like different cards, and it's a completely different game. But also, they have a, their card pool so deep that all these cards are pretty good. You're not like in tier where you're like, oh, everything's limited. Now I'm stuck with absolute shit cards. Yeah. Like in that, you've got 100 cards that are all do 100 different good things. Yes. 99. And I like Highlander Yu Gi Oh! Highlander Yu Gi Oh! is fun. Mm. I really like Highlander. We should, just, we should do a Highlander again soon. We just can't do it Highlander Limited. Oh no, we can't do traditional Highlander because it will Highlander absolutely just become uh, Terrellement, Orcus, and all that nonsense. See, yeah, as much as I would it. love that, it was good that we tried it. Yeah, it's just not something. Let's just never good. do it again. Um, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh was the main. It, it has not been my main game for a while now. I guess it's been mobile apps and bullshit. What's the other TCG that we played for a fair bit? We all, we all, we all kind of bailed on Digimon. Yeah, we all bailed on Digimon pretty quickly. I well, I, I hung on the Dragon longest to Digimon. It's uh, a Bandai card game. It was always gonna get fucked. Yeah, and like I'm still part of like Digimon chats and stuff, and they tell me about new cards and things that are coming. I'm just like, these I'm all good. sound ridiculous. Yes, uh, they have hand traps now in that game. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we used to do a few weeks, like, we used to have, like, random excursions where, like, a fair amount of the player base would just go, oh, let's play this for a couple months while it's a bit quiet. Like, we played Dragon Ball, that fell off a fucking cliff. Star Wars Destiny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> raw Deal. Oh, Raw Deal. Yeah, that was, it was a wrestling card game that wasn't even uh, stocked when we picked it up, and we are buying all these singles from his card store in Canada, which must have been, like, going, thank God someone's buying this. <laughs> <laughs> but then we broke that game way too quick. Actually, it, it's only just dawned on me. This is, like, going right back in my fucking history. I think it was, like, when I was 11. 
um, my family was down the coast for um, Easter and we were at a Lake Njola and me and this other guy I just met were going into like the lolly shop that was down there because it was like one shop because it was Lake Njola. There were Harry Potter playing cards. I thought it was going to end with him playing Duel Masters. I was like, fuck. No, 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 no. Bit too early. 11. That's, that's the... I mean, he was playing Yu-Gi-Oh! at this point, but I wasn't, yeah. No, there's Duel Masters. Duel Masters wasn't out until after Yu-Gi-Oh! Masters so came out like, oh, four or five. Well, no, I was in high school for Duel Masters. That's yeah, so I was in three or whatever. Yeah, 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 I'm all shut <laughs> yeah. up. Anyway, I'm like, as soon as you said 11, I'm like, yeah, anyway, it was Easter when I was 11. Anyway, there was a Harry Dude. Potter I know where I was. Um, TCG. We bought almost every card that we could. Like, we didn't buy any lollies, but we went to the lolly shop for that entire week or whatever we Where were there. Where was the store? Lake and Jolla. I don't know. What the fucking little, like, the, the post office? Yeah, yeah, down there. Yeah, they had... They Harry, had trading cards. They had Harry Potter TCG. That's the only one they had. This is a small town of, like, a tourist town where it's just one fishing... Uh, post office general store and that's fucking and it. And 5,000 people go there every Easter. Yeah, and it's like, well, we should really work out something better than this. No, they can go into town, but town wasn't that much better either. No. Wow, so you got a whole bunch Pretty of Pokemon. Sure. Yeah, 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 and we'd like verse each other. And again, it was like when you first got Pokemon cards and you didn't know the rules, so we just sort of made it up. <laughs> we play So cooked. <laughs> I remember what, we had po- we only had Pokemon cards on us and we were all in a Yu-Gi-Oh! It was like, hey, you want to play this like fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! where it's just like defense modes, the HP and the attacks, the attacks. We were like, let's just play Pokemon like Yu-Gi-Oh! We definitely did that a few times. I definitely did. Kind of shitty. Um, I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh! is a bit more straightforward in that regard. Like, Pokemon, there's a bit to work out, like what you're supposed to do with the energies and stuff like that. You start playing? Huh? Energies are one per pack. Okay. You never have enough energies to actually play. Yeah, we used to, yeah, we used to just do no energies. Yeah, true. Um, it's amazing. I own Cardfight Vanguard and the other one. Wash-Wards. wash Jake remembered it. I didn't. I have both of those card games just laying around the house. Did the Star Wars ones for wash Wards? No, I have... That nearly got me in and they never did the English <laughs> run. Also wait, wait, wait. Don't tell him. What do you think wash Wards deck he has? <laughs> the fact that you're thinking this long is concerning. Yeah. Dragon Man didn't get one, did they? No. Oh, I think they, they, they may well. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm like, fuck, which. Yeah, they did. Jojo they did? Yeah, I thought they did. Yeah, yeah it's absolutely. Jojo. It's Jojo. Jojo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was talking about. Fuck, was there a Dragon Man? Should have control. Yeah. There's a Chainsaw Man coming with. It's actually a fun card game. Yeah. Is it? Like, when uh, you enter uh, the climax zone, or the climax phase, <laughs> it's great. And then when you enter the end phase, you just feel like shit. <laughs> Leave yeah. it you like, prepare. Most climax clarity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is anyone when you realise you misplayed in the post climax uh, I always misplay the post climax is it anyway. all the Disney TCG <laughs> how that's developing no. no I'm half curious I wonder if they'll nail it I, I doubt know. it I heard Tom say he was going to play Elsa Control and I was like I'm not about this oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm curious because <laughs> I, I somehow feel like card game players are too intelligent to play a shit game like that <laughs> Because yeah, Tom's gonna be like, I'm playing I'll sit control and his opponent's gonna be this five year old girl being like, <laughs> oh, <love> combo! <laughs> you're who's on a blowout! Um, I think. What the heck? The spin! You activated my trap. Hola. Hola. Not hola. I'm sorry, that triggers, triggers my Ariel in hand. <laughs> nah, I'm not touching that. <laughs> not in the moment. Yeah, I'm wondering how they're <laughs> going to go with it. Actually, it'll, it'll whiff, but hopefully if it gets a few people in the card stores, it might be good for the rest of us. We'll see. Yeah. It's just going to be YouTubers trying to collect it, and then... Uh, but I don't think they're doing high rarity stuff either. I think it's going to be nearly living card games. So. Realistically, I don't think they can do it's high rarity. It's going to be CCG. Yeah. 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 Next question. Next question is from Six Arts. That's a good question, though. Um, which Yu Gi Oh monster would you keep as a pet? Is Patamon a Yu Gi Oh monster? No. No. Every IP should have Patamon. Uh, Patamon. <laughs> Um, hmm. Because, like, does it keep its abilities? Well, then you just pick Karibo. 
Yeah. It's like, yeah, this, this, this bus is about to hit me. <laughs> Creeper, get in here. Explosion. Kill him, Creeper. Yeah, just, <laughs> I think like, go, go, go. Blow up his eyes. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> The creed was a fake thing. I'm not gonna go there. Um, I would have Paradragon. Paradragon okay. always seemed to be big, but the other one's Yeah, I want a Great Dane too. What's your problem? I like. Just, I like. You just have game. a giant ass parrot with you. Like that's. Yeah, that's gonna shoot somewhere. What? Would you not want a Corviknight? Yeah. Are you telling me you wouldn't want a Corviknight? Yeah. Is it we're talking about no, Pokemon? Just no, too big. no, there's too No, there's no such thing. This is a very confusing thing that I've just learned. About Jake, is that he wants a big dog? Oh yeah, I love big but dogs. A great thing is like two times the size of you. It's not that big, mm. but also mm. I've always liked big dogs. Like I also wanted a um, Newfoundland. Why not just get a Canada? It's bigger. Shut up. I that's such right. that's such a shit geography joke. Holy fuck! <laughs> it's honestly so niche that I even know <laughs> that because I'm shit at geography. <laughs> <laughs> Death Wombat. Yeah, Death Wombat's a good call. <laughs> Go, Go Master. Go outside, there's one out there. <laughs> Master Oz. Yeah, Master Oz is too big. Yeah. Actually, as a, as a sub thing, how many, like, actually Australian animals have you seen in the wild? What? Have you ever seen a platypus or an echidna? Echidnas, yes. Platypus, no. Oh, what? Really I've seen a platypus. In the wild? Yep. Yeah. Redwood, they're in the little rock. You go for one, you go, you see them. Oh, the Knowing you lost me. Canoeing's alright. I no, mean, speedboat. Getting them. It's better than kayak. Yeah. Next question. Next question. Sorry, a three hour podcast. <laughs> six I six asks What is your go to for stress release? <laughs> no. Well, I play White Swats. <laughs> no, no, shut up, shut up. If you just on the side at a regional play whites with your opponent, yeah, yeah you do get to enter the climax phase. Oh my god. <laughs> this is such a normal question that we've made terrible. No, it's not. He knows what he did. Alcohol. Uh, yeah, getting cooked or drunk and making gags <laughs> is pretty good. That was a, that was a good... Ray, uh, what do you say? A good string of decks were made of mine back in Coniston of just getting on the, on the booze and... Making something and looking at it, taking it in Sunday and go, oh, this sucks. <laughs> um, I'd say my go to is probably a nice walk or a nice drive. I don't stress relieve often, that's why I'm always angry. Um, oh, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, um, I haven't done it for a while, but I used to take my car to get washed at a place and then it was right near the lake, so I'd then just go for a walk around the lake. It's quite nice. Now it just right, has a coffee. Yeah, there's that too. Now I'm angry and anxious because I've had like three coffees in an hour. <laughs> That's just life, isn't it? Angry and anxious. Bet. I already answered. Um, okay, we're going with that. All right, sure. Uh, last question comes to us again from Sky Lancers. Uh, what archetypal play style would you like to see revived that hasn't been around for over seven to eight years? Uh, his would be the pan Pandemonium Arch Fiends. Um, those are the ones that are like chess pixels. Um, would love for them to get a ton of support uh, that was actually decent and followed through with their playstyle. I yeah. actually agree with his because yeah. I've always really liked the Pandemonium Arch Fiends. Always really sick art. The effects were always a little bit shit, but. It's just because they're the archetype for Capsule Coliseum. The Gaps of Coliseum. Could they not make light versions of all of those and just play off the that you're playing oh, the dark? Yeah. Yes, that so, would yeah, be sick. so the dark pieces all have shit effects because it's black and it goes second and it sucks and white is just bad up. Oh. <laughs> hey chess. You when, do, when do we cancel chess? <laughs> yeah, when do we cancel chess? <laughs> white gets to go chess? first. Well, the queen's better, so at least there's something in there. Yeah, but you lose if the king dies. I don't remember the queen. There were two. There were two queen. Yeah, I, were... I remember it, like, it has like 2800 attack or something, doesn't it? But it was not good. And that's the problem. So yeah, retrains are then make it all like white pieces. And we don't read it in any context. Barry no, we do read it in support. I want barriers that you support. Okay. I have to look it up now. Just be funny. Like, that just does something different based on the types. Like, 
Yeah, just a way to like combo out multiple barrier statues. Oh, fuck. Oh, just I, no, that, that's the thing. Just that's the thing. Or something or anything else? No, nah, just for the fun of it. But how do you get multiple out? I guess Extra multiple. multiple. Exactly. Yeah. Like, Extra they're negated multiple. on your turn. That's um, Fire Fist is still dual bunch of support, and I would like to get back to the original controlling parts of Fire Fist, not the stupid Horse Prince combos. Horse Prince is a stretch. You so, could summon all five Barry statues left in the game, and your opponent would just look at you and be like, okay. So, yeah, um, so the Queen had two um, ones. One was a dice roll one, which was a bit shit. Yeah. Uh, the other one was like, um, you pay the thousand life points things unless you have the pandemonium, and then you can target a level four level fiend on the field and it gains a thousand attack until the end phase. Gain seven and a thousand attack, and it can attack directly. Didn't that make get support? Didn't he have a link monster? Yes, but it's shit. Because it's also dice roll, but it's not um, dice roll to do yes or no. It's like options depending on what you hit. But you had to trigger whatever you hit, and one of them was like sends card to the graveyard. Just radius support. Oh, they give radius. that every so often. We yeah. just don't notice it because it's trash. Yeah. It's like the skull servant one. I'll just slip it one every now and then. Only tank thirty four support. Was there more cards to that? No, but I like it. Yeah, I do like it. It's quite, it's cool, but. Um, I thought he was going to um, say, I, when I um, think of Omni Tank, I think of Overdrive. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, um, Ganesha Elephantus support. Please. The fuck did you just say to me? Ganesha Elephantus support. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's my favourite card. Gora Turtle. Yeah! Play the base. Fuck it, oh. Parrot Dragon. Uh, support. Also, it's so yeah. big. No, like Gora Turtle's a pet would be sick. Where's Gora Turtle? Gora Turtle is a pet. And Pokey Draco as a pet. Pokey Draco was a pet. Ah, uh, we're back to Cyber Falcon too while we're at it. If you had Cowboy as a pet, would you pay it? Do you just have a man with two guns walking around? Sick of him. He also maybe has a collar and a lead. Mm, the, moving right to the end. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Um, as I said, feel free to jump into our Discord. Let us know how your experience with Master Ball is going and let us know what your state is doing for your states. Um, but otherwise, leave us questions in our Discord, like us on YouTube, favourite us on your streaming services, and we will catch you all next week. Peace. Here he does 800 damage. I'm only 10%.